The following KQED production was produced in high definition. My name is Drew Endy. I'm a synthetic biologist. I work to make the engineering of biology easy. So what are we doing in the lab here at Stanford? We want to build genetic memory systems that work inside living cells, not out of pieces of silicon, but out of pieces of DNA, proteins, and RNA. One of the interesting things about being a scientist or an engineer, and especially in synthetic biology, is everywhere you look, there are opportunities worth exploring. If you start with the natural world and all the beautiful things that we see and get to enjoy and have some responsibility for, if you like to make stuff, if you like to do both of these things, you can find them in the world of synthetic biology. And so for me, as soon as I realized that biology was not just a science, but it was also a field of engineering and that you could work with biology to make things, that triggered an incredible amount of excitement. It's hard for me to imagine what the world would be like without scientists and engineers. It's hard to overestimate how many changes everybody alive today has lived through, starting with flight and space travel and computers and medicines and what have you. To go back to a time where there weren't scientists and engineers is almost like asking to go back to a time when there weren't human beings. There's something about being a human with all our interests and curiosity and all our talents and all that we can think about that leads us forward to consider science and engineering. We can choose to participate and engage with the world around us and to try and contribute to our understanding of the natural world and to leave behind something that's better. And so science and engineering are uh, tools that people can use to help better understand and to help deliver solutions to the problems and opportunities that people are presented with.